Okay, Jen's been here a week or so doing her uh, painting, so I'm gonna go and have a little catch up and just see how she's getting on. Here we go, so I'm catching up with Jen after uh, about a week or so you've been here now, Jen. So how, how are we getting on with the picture? Picture's coming along, well, you see this. Oh, it looks great. Um, yeah. Out, but this is the main one that I'm, I think is gonna be for the commission. Right. Um, and yeah, these are, I've sort of done some more work on this one. And this was um, sun, you can't see it totally because the sun's coming through, but that was a sketch painting that I did while I was in Macedonia, mm. which is sort of similar view to this one. So this is spilling out more than when we first saw it, isn't it? Yeah. Are you pleased on how it's going? Yeah, I've just made some big decisions about the composition. So mm. um, you'll see these sort of last night I took some I took some photographs and printed them out on the oh, computer. Oh so there's the scene I hadn't noticed that before there's the That's actual the place view. right yeah. beautiful stunning isn't it yeah it is lovely and um uh yeah you've got this is the sort of Costa Rino Ridge here okay um and then this is called Rocky Peak this is part of Rocky Peak and this is where what the sort of battle that I'm commemorating right. took place um because we haven't really talked about what you're doing. I'm going to cover it properly in the very last bit, but it's, yeah. it's to do with a battle then. You can it give is. that bit away, it's, can't it's, you? It's to do with the World War One battle. Right. So I'll tell you about that next Fantastic. Time. So it's coming along. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've just sort of decided to change the composition at the front quite a lot. Um, How, you, when, you, when you're creating this picture, are you confident all the way through that it's going as you want it? Or is it like you do stuff and then you think that's not right and you work oh. back? Or what, how do you work? No, it's a constant changing of, of things. I mean, I, I'm confident that it'll work out. But you, yeah, you change. I, I think some, some artists will just go, that's the view and I'm just painting it and that's mm. that. But that's not how it works. So there's some um, different elements I'll put in and I'll change things as I go and think, oh, that's not working. Mm. I need to do that differently, which is what I did last night. I was like, I really need to change that rock at the front. Um, so I can smell the paint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. So that's oil paint, but mm. I'll show you briefly. Oh, OK. So let's have a look at you, what you've got here, what you use. Yeah. So at, when I first start, I start out working in acrylics. So these are acrylic paints and yeah. they're water-based. So they'll dissolve in water. So when you say you start out, is that, do you do a sketch in it or something or how, what, um, how does that work? I tend to paint the whole uh, canvas in sort of a reasonable, mostly a block of acrylic colour. Yeah. So when I work on this oh, one... Here's a blank is, canvas. Here's <laughs> one that you haven't done haven't earlier. Done it. <laughs> <laughs> this one I haven't done earlier. Yeah. So I'll probably with that get quite a big roller. I've got, okay. a, I've got like a roller tray yeah. from there. Oh, like a paint tray from B&Q. Yeah. yeah, for painting your walls with. So yeah. Because that's so big. For those, I, uh, the smaller ones, I just used to brush to put the block yeah. color underneath in acrylic. Um, and it's it's underneath there, it's got some sort of um, primer on that you okay. can't see. Um, oh that. yeah, I can just feel it yeah. slightly. And it makes the acrylic paint slide off if you want mm. it. So. Okay. And then um, once that's dry, yeah. then, I'll, then I'll switch to and you move over. oil paints. Yeah, oh, so so. This, is, so this is all oil painting then? Right. Yeah, the red here you see, that was the acrylic oh, nice kind colour. of undercoat, okay. sort of old base coat rather, yeah. um, that I put on. And you see it showing through in little places, and that's kind of the idea, really. So um, it, instead of starting with a white canvas, which is really kind of not easy. Hard work. Mm, yeah. yeah. If you paint the whole thing in one colour, it holds the painting together. So, um, right. so that's... Yeah, so, so, so these the, are yeah. the oil paints you've got over here. Yeah, and these are quite big tubes. They are, aren't they? Yeah, so a lot of the time if you get a set given to you for Christmas, oh, you, you get might little get something ones, yeah, like that, sure. which would last me about half an hour. Really? Which, um, Gosh. But it is expensive stuff. How I much mean, does a tube, I mean, I'm just picking a random yeah. tube out. What colour is that? Is that just that's black, a yellow, is it? No, that's a yellow ochre. Oh, so that's it. I was looking at that little... Similar to your trailer there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done it in that, shouldn't I? Hey, <laughs> Norton Yellow. Um, yeah. I thought that little black dot, uh, dot was it. Was this, so the, yeah. the yellow is that. So what yeah. would a tube like that cost? Well, that's a quite a standard colour. So that's yellow ochre. So yeah. that'll be on the cheaper side. And that could be anything from 12 to 20 pounds. Right. Crikey. That is a lot, isn't it? Mm. But if you go to a more expensive colour. For the amount colour, you're getting. Yeah. I mean, a more expensive colour, um, something, well, that's not too bad. But, you know, you'll get some of these other ones that could mm. be 20 pounds. And then yeah. some of them. Wow. Some of them are. Gosh. Are 50 I had no idea. A tube. It's the, the more expensive pigment, mm. the more expensive the paint. And are so. there different. I mean, you've got quite a few different brands here, haven't you? Yeah. Are there different brands that some are better than others? Is it like you can get a Poundland version and a. There top is, end yeah. you know but we yeah. better not advertise it here. <laughs> but are there ones but, that you prefer yeah. using not really i i tend to go with what's 
on offer. So you get yeah. what they call student oil paints, right. which are meant to be a bit cheaper and the pigment's not so strong. Okay. Um, and then you get artists' paints, which tend to be sort of better pigments, stronger mm. colours, and they're more expensive. But I've got a mixture of student and artist right. paints there, so it depends. So that yellow ochre was on offer the other day, and I use that quite a lot. Okay. So I bought two tubes of that. Yeah. Um, but you know, I'm not. I'm not too sort of tied up in. I must have this. Brand yeah. And that brand. That's I just. Thing. I just like this. It's the Van Gogh one. Oh that, yeah. That, <laughs> so we've got to cut your ear off first in order to yeah, use that. To use that one. He's quite a good paint actually. I've yeah. Got a couple of him sort of his paints. And you and you've got a palette here. You're mixing as you go. This is interesting. I do love seeing these boards when you oh. see the mix. Well, this yeah. I mean, I use a mixture of. Sometimes I put the paint on here, and mm. I might use it straight off of there. Sometimes I might put it in. A sort of a glass dish if I'm doing something right. bigger, or sometimes if I want to make. It's like a dollop of dollop of bird poo on there. That one does, doesn't it? Be careful in this shed. And you this might get looks, some. This one looks like more animal poo, sort of a different animal. That's bird poo. <laughs> that might be. I don't. Know, I think it looks like baby poo actually. <laughs> I always think actually. That's almost an art exhibition in itself. The, you know, the, if you've got famous painters' palettes, you mm. just see them, how they've mixed their paint and things. It's quite a skill just yeah. mixing, isn't it? Just, yeah. I mean, the hardest bit when you're mixing, surely, is you mix a bit and you like it, but then you've you, you got to get the consistency right for the next time you do another bit. Oh, yeah. You, can't, you, can't, I, you can never mix... I, I don't think you can ever mix the same colour twice. No. And actually, that's all right, because sort of in nature, if you look at this... Mm. You know, it's, not all, one it's not colour. one colour. Yeah. Whereas if we were looking at that bit of stone... Mm. From a distance, we'd think it was probably all this colour, but when yeah. you get close up, it's like really. Yeah, you, I so totally straw, get you. you know? Yeah. So nature isn't sort of terribly clean in its colours no. often. But, um, and, and finally, before we go, mm. um, your brushes. Yeah. Now these these are interesting because they're really they're like almost like decorating brushes, yeah. like, but they're really skinny, aren't they? Yeah, they're quite Look how thin. They are. Yeah, they're quite. They're quite. That one's sort of. They they can't as you use them, they get a bit thicker. But yeah, that yeah. one's quite a sort of. But even the handles. The handles are really. There's not much grip on there, is it? No. Look at that. It's is that just, why is that? Is that just I the way no you hold idea. it? Yeah, I think it's just. They're not like decorating brushes where they've got a nice rounded nice handle. Big juicy brush. No, they're nice and light though, aren't they? They're not like heavy. Maybe something. that's yeah. partly the that's oh, like, decorating brush. That's more like it, isn't it? Yeah. That's a decorating brush. You're right. That's a bit more of a. But I guess if you're doing a lot of like, painting, you don't want a heavy brush, do you? No, I think it's and it's a lighter touch. It's kind of, you know, you might be some. Yeah. You know, if you're kind of Jackson Pollock, you might be going uh, uh, with brushes. But actually, you know, a lot of the time we use them quite light. And I think you're right yeah. about the weight. That's probably what it is. Never noticed that before, Richard. No, well, oh, that's good. That's just because I've just decorated our kitchen. <laughs> so after a while, the brush was a bit heavy. Heavy. Yeah, achy hand off. Yeah. Well. But yeah, these, um, I've got some new ones there. You can Lovely. see how beautifully white they are. Mm. But, you know, one use and they end up like that. So Yeah. But uh, yes, I'm, I, I'm a bit of a brush fiend. And these things are empty dog food trays. Well, it's always good to recycle, isn't it? And they're perfect size, aren't they, yeah, really? good size, yeah. And you've got Ooh. your squash as well, because you need a bit of squash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And at the moment, it's just got a bit cold. You need coffee sort of now. It's last, cold now, yeah, isn't it? The last couple of days. Yeah, it's very cold really today. Has really kind of when you in, came it? here, it was warm, wasn't it? Yeah. And now it's. Now it's in just the space well. of two weeks. It's I can see my breath. A, indeed. Right, well, I won't hold you up. Thank you very much, Kate. Uh, Kate, I'm calling you Kate again. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I can't believe it. I've done that last time as well. You are going to have to be Kate, the yeah, pseudonym. I think, I think my mum said she nearly called me Kate. So well, maybe I'm just... You know, maybe I look like a Kate. Jen. Maybe I do. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Sorry. Right, I'll leave you to it. Thank All you, right, Richard. cheers. See you, bye. I'm still going. Terps got action going on there. The terps. Okay, some of that. 